Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the X Files Funko Pop of Fox Mulder. X Files is such a great classic show that I think Funko making pops of them is long overdue. And now that I've got this sitting in front of me, I gotta say, I think they did a pretty good job with it. I mean, a Mulder pop is just basically a guy in a suit, but it's a good guy in a suit pop. Going for a closer look here, we can just see some of the details that went into, like his tie paint, his belt and belt buckle, the buttons on his coat, and his FBI badge looks really good. And I like that there's a little picture of a little Funko molder on there. Um, you know, his shoes look pretty good. There's a little bit of paint bleeding onto his pants right there. It's mild annoyance, but his hands look pretty good. Um, here's a little black dot on his hand there, but the, the paint on the gun is good. There's also a lot of paint on the back of his hand here for the one I got. But overall, the actual like design of his suit, the basic stance is really well done. I like the blue paint for his shirt. Now, if you go and take a look at his head, I think they did a good job sculpting, you know, the Mulder hairstyle. Uh, the paint tends to fade a little bit right here at the sideburns, and it gets a little smeared right there at his little widow's peak. Um, and there's some paint on his ear there that's kind of annoying, but you know what? Like, you don't really see that from the front. Um, but the actual sculpt of his hair overall from the front and back looks pretty good. There's the part on the top. Um, I like that the gun didn't leave a little black paint smear on his face. Eyeballs are well painted. Eyebrows are well painted. Now, even though this pop is just a guy in a suit, you look at that suit, you look at that hair, and when you see it on the shelf, you totally know it's Fox Mulder. Now, speaking of hair, I was looking at this head sculpt and I thought, that looks kind of familiar. And I was right, because it's totally the same head that they use for the Captain Mal from Firefly. Uh, now, in the past, I've gotten upset about stuff like this, like when Jules and Vincent in Pulp Fiction have the exact same body type, but you don't see them reusing heads a whole lot. Even with all the different like male and female figures, they don't often you know, recycle the same head. Um, sometimes they do in variants, and I don't really hold that against variants because they're not commonplace. They're not really like ripping off, you know, general shoppers. Like the upcoming Cyclops with no visor is the same head as the uh, Captain America head. Um, but this is the exact same head, and they're both, you know, mass retail pops. Um, but I'm not really that upset. I'm not like super gooby, you know, about this. Uh, I'm not like throwing nerd rage around because I can't deny that they have very similar hairstyles when you look at the show like I don't blame them for doing this so whatever you know as far as the pop itself goes I was nitpicky about the paint a little bit with some dots here and there but you know what you don't really see them you can't really notice I think this Mulder pop looks rad I'm really glad that Funko has done a X-Files line I love this thanks for watching